Hi guys, it's me Stace and I am back again today with another 3D Thursday video and today we are making this really cute clay pot snowman. He's like a little miniature one. Isn't he darling? Love snowman and he is really cute. Alright, all you need is a clay pot, a saucer, and a wooden ball. I believe my clay pot is two inches. The wooden ball is also two inches but it has a flat, you know, one side of that is flat so it's able to sit on the pot like that. Then a little saucer and you're going to layer that down with the saucer, the pot, and the ball. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my E6000 glue. You want to use a strong glue and I'm actually going to put the glue on the inside rim of this pot here. And you can probably use hot glue as well. Any kind of strong glue you have is fine. Right, we're just going to kind of set that on there like that. This way they're going to grab. And then with this one I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top around the pot here and also on the my bottom of the ball. You want to let them cure, or not cure, like let them sit there for about 30 seconds or, or so before you go to put them together. All right, we're also going to need, I'm going to put that right there, um, to, to jazz him up I have some black felt for his hat, some orange felt for the nose, and then this is just a piece of tan fleece I had, it, you know it's like the stretchy kind, I'm going to use that for the scarf. I'm also going to intertwine some baker's twine on there hot glue and googly eyes and when this is all done we're going to spray paint him white. So I'm going to go ahead and sit this on top here. Make sure he's straight and centered. Okay, you want, to let, you want to let this dry. I would probably go a good 24 hours to let this dry all the way and then when he's all dried take him outside and give him a few coats of just regular Walmart brand spray paint and we're going to come back and finish him up. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Hi hey guys, we are back. Um, our snowman piece or is dried. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make his hat and I have a piece of felt, just regular black felt. I think this is about five inches wide by eight. Yeah, five by nine. And I have my glue gun heated up and what I'm going to do is put a small bead of glue along one of the long ends and then fold this up. So we can create this little band for his hat. Okay, so get all that up there. Just kind of hold it for a minute so it dries or kind of grabs. Okay, do the same thing with another bead of glue. And I need another glue stick in here. go ahead and fold that up. Now the glue is really hot. You guys can probably see it steaming. And you're looking for maybe a half inch or so of your fold. And that glue's hot. Okay, just let it sit there and make contact first. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take this glue off my hand. That was hot. Okay. That's done. Now you're going to take it and wrap it around the ball with the brim side facing out. And with how I do it, I'm going to put some glue on the hat there, a little piece, and just kind of place it on there. And we're just going to work our way around the entire snowman. And you're leaving enough room there for his face. Okay, some more glue. Now I'm going a little bit at a time. Now when we get to the end back here we're going we're gonna to go ahead and cut it. And I think five inches was way too much but we're, we'll go ahead and trim that off. Let's just keep on going all the way around. And I'm pulling a nice and tug. Okay, and then when I get there, I'm going to get and cut this off. Okay, and then if you have an opening, you can kind of go in there with some glue. And just really kind of push the felt together. 
That's going to be the back of his hat anyway. All right. Now, this is way too much. We're going to go ahead and cut some of this off. I want to cut about an inch off. So I'm going to say you probably need about a four inch width piece of felt. Okay. So it looks like that. Now you're going to take your scissors and just cut about an inch down, I guess. Little slice marks. If you don't have felt, you can certainly use a sock. I've seen people make snowman hats out of socks. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna take some baker's twine or a rope, whatever you have. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off and take it around. And you're gonna tie this into a knot. kind of gather it first just to get my shape okay, I'm going to tie that into a knot and you can go as loose as you want here or as tight I do like it kind of tight I'm going to get it tight kind of hold it with one of my fingers and then grab another knot We can go ahead and clip all this off, or if you want to, at this point, you can tie a um, a bow into it. I'm gonna get to flip it around to the front of my snowman. I don't know what the okay. All right, so then just go ahead and pull some of this felt pieces out to kind of separate the hat a little bit. Isn't it cute? Okay. And then here, if you want to, you have a little bit left over. Just gonna tie that to a little bow with the front of his hat. ginormous. Okay, the bow looks cute. Go ahead and cut your tails off. My scissors have a dent in them, so they're not really sharp. All right, so there's what the hat looks like, right? Really cute. Now for the scarf, I just have a piece of fleece. I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these out of here. And that would be half inch, three quarters of an inch. And the way the fleece is cut is where when you pull it, it gets full like that. Okay, so I'm going to pull these like that. Just makes it look really, really fluffy. And again, you guys can use fabric if you want to. Even any kind of material. All right, now I'm gonna take some more of this baker's twine as I want this to kind of come through with the scarf. And I'm gonna hold these two together. Take one of these, I need to go ahead and cut that. Now you could do as many strands as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do three, I think. This is a really pretty baker's twine. It has um, white with gold metallic in it. Okay, so we have our scarf pieces here, our fleece, and our baker's twine. And I cut the baker's twine longer than my scarf. All right, take it and wrap around your snowman guy. I'm just making a simple little knot. And shove all that through, pull it out the bottom. hard when you're when you're doing it with the twine because you get kind of confused so I have three strands of twine I need to bring through and there's not much room for your fingers All right, so I have two pieces of twine there we go I got all my twine 
and both pieces of fleece. And then just go ahead and tie it into a little knot. I'm going to tie it on the one side. And then when you're done, go ahead and clip the twine off. I just like the twine. Like I said, a little bit of sparkle. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, so now his little hat matches his scarf. All right. Now for the face, you're just going to take, if you want to, you can use googly eyes. I like the googly eyes. I'm going to grab those. I don't know how small these are, but they're fairly little. Okay, so I have those. I'm going to just take a little dollop of hot glue up by the brim of his hat. Okay, a little bit like that. And a little one right there. Okay. I'm going to place the eyes on. He's coming together. Do you see him? He is super cute. I love snowman. Okay, so that we have his eyes on. Just going to make sure they're even. For the nose, just a piece of, just a scrap piece of orange felt. Or you can use um, craft foam. Construction paper, even orange marker. All right, going to put a little dollop there for his nose, just a little bit. And all the glue strings will take off when he's done. Okay, so let me get rid of that glue string there. And then for the mouth, just a marker. And I did, I did it pretty rough, you know, so it wasn't perfect because. You know, if you look back on how to make a snowman, you're just putting rocks in there. And the rocks are not always the same shape. But there you have it. Really cute, right? Oh, we have buttons. Okay, let's do our buttons. I have three buttons here. I'm going to actually use these little silver buttons. All right, so again, just put a little dollop of glue. I'm going to kind of line it up with the carrot for his nose. Okay, there's one, two, and three. And again, the glue strings, we'll worry about those when all this is dried. So there's one button. And if you don't have buttons, you know, you guys can use bling if you have those little gems. I think he is super precious. I love him. Isn't he cute? And he's not perfect, and that's fine. Like I said, it's, it's handmade. All right, so there's that one, and then there's that one. And this one here, I went and put rhinestones inside the buttons because I had, like, extra glue sticking out, and this one I'm leaving plain. But I think he's really super cute. And, you know, you, like I said, pretty easy to make. Um, any questions at all, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.